Hello, family and friends. Today is Friday. What is it? March 10th? Something like that. 10th? Something. Whatever. Yeah, so it's Friday. It's the weekend. We have high school hockey tournaments, state tournament going on in the state, and our, our city is uh, doing pretty good. They're going to play championship tomorrow. So that's going on this weekend. I got a couple of parts I want to put on my, my AR-10 couple one yeah I'll, I'll show you later what I'm talking about um, and we have a snowstorm we have a blizzard warning going on here starting tomorrow morning right now uh, I call it the calm before the storm it's actually a super nice day out there like it's like sunny and calm no wind uh, but that's gonna change starting tomorrow morning so it's gonna be one of those hunker down days hunker down and wait out the storm and then probably the second part of the week we're gonna have to we're gonna have to clean up plow and whatnot so that's kind of what I'm planning on filming this weekend but uh, yeah I'll have to reorganize the garage a little bit um, my wife is working this weekend, so she'll have this out of here. I'm going to put different vehicles and whatnot and make sure I have everything clear. So when it's time to plow, I don't have to move 100 vehicles around. So that's kind of the plan. But uh, yeah, right now I'm just going to go make some supper. And then come out and play, play with the AR and put on what I what I got for it so yeah I'll be back in a little bit okay so this is the game plan here um, so I want to take off these iron sights from uh, from this baby um, take off these iron sights and try to mount one of these it's a green dot actually don't eat my gun, dummy. Um, so I, I got one of these side mount thingies, um, offset rail mounts, and then we're gonna try to mount this Romeo Romeo 7S uh, from Six Hour over here somewhere. So it's probably right right over here. Um, yeah, because I don't want to want to make sure this one doesn't but when it uh, when the shells come out, they don't hit uh, the side too bad. So yeah, we'll see how it all works out. But that's the plan, and then I'm gonna see if I can put these iron sights onto my AR-15, which looks a little tight right now. But I'm thinking might be able to move this forward just enough to put the iron sight on here uh, yeah uh, i guess we'll see how it works high school hockey is on tv i got a beer going over here well not yet but i will we have dakota as an assistant and then i'll see if i'll have time to to clean off these two babies too since I'm working on these they need a little bit of cleaning so yeah all right well see what happens here well this is what we came up with so this thing is a little bit too tight over here even if I move this forward there was no way I can mount it here so we mount it a little bit forward Looks kind of like that, which is not bad actually. Um, yeah, it works pretty good. So we can look in there. That's hard to do. Anyway, we can transition from that right over to this easy. Wish I can see the green. The green dot, this damn thing. 
I guess it's in there, but it's hard with this phone camera. And I can see it with my naked eye, not with the camera. Huh. Interesting. Maybe that's it. Anyway, it's actually a pretty easy transition. See, I see it's kind of reflecting. Oh, it's because I have multiple cameras going at the same time. Weird. But yeah, I mean, it's easy to acquire with my naked eye. The camera just being goofy. It kind of blends, blends the, the scope and the, and the green dot together. Huh. Anyway, I think she, this should work. It's an easy transition. Goes from here just to right over here, and I can see it just fine. So I think it'll work. I'll do some shooting hopefully Sunday after the storm is gone. I can take it out and try to shoot a few a few rounds with it and do the transition and whatnot. Uh, main reason why I wanted to have that is uh, during last deer season. I I had to go and finish off all my wife's deer and ended up finding one of my brother-in-law's oh let's see this is complicated brother-in-law's son-in-law shot a deer so we ended up looking for it and once we found it of course uh, the scope was kind of goofy because it was dark it was nighttime I uh, could not use the scope uh, and I tried the iron sights and it was kind of hard to acquire even with my flashlight going so my hope is um, green dot's gonna be a lot easier plus I mean even 100 yards and on, under I can just use the the green dot I don't have to use the scope when I even hunt on the power line so so that's kind of the um, the hope so I think I'll leave this the way it is um, yeah, I used my SIG scope this year and actually it wasn't actually too bad. Closer to about end of shooting time, there was a couple of times when I seen some deer, but it was like way down there. I want to say over 400 yards and it was hard to see, but at that point, I don't even like to shoot at them anyway, because it's hard to, to go and find and, and track when it's that far out right before dark so so I didn't I, I won't hold that against the scope at all um yeah so now I want to see I want to see if I can get these iron sights on, on this puppy and see what we can do there well this is not gonna work um yeah no matter how I try to put this on there there's just no room, no room over there, no room over here. Um, I tried to move this forward, but for some reason the rail just doesn't line up. Like these slots and the slots up here don't line up. So then if I move this up here, then the back one doesn't match up with one of these. I'm not sure why is that. So, I don't think this is going to work. Um, yeah. I'll have to make a decision. See, for this one, like my daughter likes to use it for deer hunting, so I want to leave the scope on it. And uh, she shoots... Uh, between one and two hundred yards so I don't know if I want to have a red dot on it but this one is also nice for other creatures such as coyotes and skunks and whatnot this is my AR-15 it's a 223556 and I have some pretty decent rounds for deer and I have some warming rounds for it so it's nice to have for that kind of things but I think I'll just keep the scope on it and, uh, and call it good uh, yeah, and of course this is my AR-10-65 Creedmoor, 
This is my deer hunting one and also this one I can reach way out there if I need to reach up to coyotes and whatnot. That's why I like this one. And then, like I said, the green dot is nice. So I can, uh, up to 100 yards, I would use the, the green dot even on the power line hunt, hunting deer. And then also go and looking for deer, wounded deer or whatnot. It's nice to have that option close up. So I think, uh, yeah, I'll try to get a few rounds through it hopefully this weekend and see how it goes. Um, yeah. Okay. Well, I'm going to try to clean these babies up a little bit. They, uh, they're my carry guns. So, yeah. I like to keep them somewhat clean. So, usually, my plan is <clears throat> to clean them. Ah, oh, man. Yeah, so this is my SIG. It's my, as you can see, my X5, P320, X5 Legion. And I also have, I think it's turned off now, but I also have red dot on this one. I have red dot and I also have um, the sites that marry up, the original sites. Can't really see it on the phone that nice. So when the green dot is off, when the red dot is off, I can still use my sights. So let me see here. Hey, look at that! I found a different video mode. I can actually film that. You can see the green dot in there. This one actually shuts off automatically, so I don't have to turn it off. It's motion activated. So yeah, cool. Hell oh, yeah, look at that. You can do that, you just flop it over, and you have your green dot. Yeah, okay. So yeah, I want to clean these up, these babies up, like I said, the, uh, especially this one, I carry all the time. So winter time I carry this one because it's a little bit bulkier, um, but I don't really mind it because in the winter time it's easy, easy to conceal, so it's not a big deal. Clean this up, and this is my XDM, a Springfield Armory. My XDM. This is mostly my summer carry, but uh, I also have a vehicle out in the winter time, so she does get a little bit of rust and whatnot. So I gotta clean this up too. So yeah, I cleaned these up a little bit, and then, yeah, they're both 9, so I like that. Ammo is interchangeable. I also like to shoot my ammo, my carry ammo, every about 6 months. Um, I shoot them and I put new new ammo in, especially up here where I live in Minnesota. You come in and out all the time, and uh, condensation, moisture, and just the cold and warm and cold and warm uh, it's not good for it so it's nice to clean it I mean to shoot it and put new ammo in there so depending on how this uh, Sunday goes for weather I might empty these these guys and actually have an extra an extra magazine for each that has the same same age ammo so Fingers crossed, plan is to do that this Sunday. Shoot, shoot both, 
and actually I'm gonna wait to clean them even come think of it I'd rather just shoot them first then clean clean the guns after we shot them and so they should be good to go for another couple of three months so that's what I'll do I don't even I'm not even gonna clean them tonight so uh, yeah that's about it for today I want to finish that beer and then go in the house spend some time with the dogs um, kind of bummed that I couldn't put those those iron sights on here but oh well it is what it is I'm uh, super excited I was able to put the, the green dot in here and I'm just excited to see how it works so hopefully I'll have time to do that this Sunday I mean I know I'll have time but it's all going to be dependent on, on the weather and how much snow I have to push and clean and stuff so alright well stay tuned yeah this is what it looks like today Saturday good day to stay in the house alright let's go on. we have day Sunday and this is what we're dealing with it's still pretty windy out I'd like to get going on cleaning up the yard but holy man oh, not one if this windy I do have to clean out the boiler also it's that time of the week uh, man I might do the boiler first hopefully the wind dies down by that time and I can move on to plow the yard. Well, I'm not sure how much I'm gonna get done and how. <laughs> if the wind doesn't die down today, I won't be able to do any shooting as far as gun goes. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, put the dogs back in the house then I'll do some shoveling around here and get the boiler cleaned out. Well, this is fun. I definitely have to build myself a, a woodshed. I have to dig just so I can get to my wood over there. Whew. And then this is what we're dealing with now. Uh, it's not going too bad, I guess. The wind is somewhat dying down, so uh, yeah, I'll keep going on this. Next week is in the 30s, almost all week, so I'm, I'm, I'm sure we're gonna lose a lot of the snow. But until then, I do have to have it somewhat clean. Oh, okay, I'll shovel some of this crap out of here and over there so I can push it, then I'll just keep going. Okay, so far, so good. The truck and I both need a break. That thing has an awesome heater in it. It's freaking making this fun. Oh, all right, let's have a beer. I think I'm gonna do that side next. I want to be able to get to the shed and stuff. So yeah. Well, I gave the birds some food. They were all out. And I gotta run to town. Oh. He's sad. <laughs> oh. I gotta run to town because my I have a small leak. The hydraulic fluid in the plow and now it's too low so I can't even lift the thing anymore. So I have to run to town before I can finish doing this. Otherwise, it's not going too bad. I just gotta finish back here. And then I'll be good to go. Well, I guess uh, what called is good. I lifted the plow a little bit. Um, I, have, uh, I have shoes on it. And I put them a little bit higher because I started catching stuff. It 
it's kind of rough when it started melting and then it froze again and then it snowed on top of it so it's kind of sketchy <laughs> very challenging to plow when that happens but here we are it's all good to go those are the trees I'm gonna have to cut down once we lose some more snow hopefully in a couple of weeks I have about uh, 16 different size trees over there that I'm gonna have to try to try to cut down and uh, yeah, I think my plan is to cut them down, delim them, and just have a brush pile over there with all the, the limbs so I can just burn them on the spot. And then cut up the wood and split it right there. So I'm only going to handle it one time, pull it up in my little trailer, and then come and uh, pile it in, uh, in that lane too or whatever. So that's the plan for those babies. Uh, Otherwise, it's pretty decent snow banks. I wanted to make sure that trailer stays kind of uh, not plugged in in case I get some more of those pallets. Would be nice to get some more, take them apart. Um, my strong four or five quarter wood that was over there, it's all gone now. So the last of it is in that trailer. Uh, yeah, I think we'll be in good shape now. I'm gonna go let the dogs out a little bit so they can come out and relax. Otherwise, everything else looks looks okay. I'm still looking for a tranny for this thing. I don't know if I want to spend the two thousand dollars to rebuild one or just find a used one. Still debating, but yeah, this job is done. It's still pretty windy, so I don't think I'll be shooting the guns today. But while I was plowing, I kind of had a little epiphany when it comes to when it comes to that AR-15. Um, there's no reason why I couldn't move those rings. There's no reason why I couldn't move those rings on that scope to fit the rail. I don't know. Some days it takes a it takes a guy a little bit to think about things before it actually makes sense. So I think that's what I'm gonna do tonight move the rings on the scope itself to fit the rail and that way I should be able to well I'm gonna try <laughs> try to fit those uh, iron sights on that AR-15 uh, right now I'm gonna go let the dogs out they've been in the house for the last two three four hours so I'm gonna go let them out so they can chillax a little bit and run around and see no, what we're gonna do for supper. Last night was they like savings time, so it's actually and three o'clock instead of two. But yeah, I'll do that and then hopefully come back out and see if I can get that AR-15 figured out. Um, and like I said, I won't be shooting the guns today. It's just way too windy and whatnot. So. Um, yeah, but the weather looks really nice the next couple of weeks actually It cools off for a couple of days, but for most part it's in the 30s. It's sunny. So we're gonna lose snow really fast So hopefully we get to shoot the guns here in the next couple of weeks Especially with the AR-15 if I'm gonna move those rings and mess with the scope for sure I'm gonna have to set that one in and make sure it's on and ready to go. So Yeah, we'll have We'll have skunks coming out here pretty soon. We'll, well, we see them already, but around the house we have a few that hang around. I'm not sure where they sleep in, in the wintertime, but I know they'll be around, so I'll have guns ready for that. And squirrels and stuff, so. Yeah. Okay, go let the dogs out and see what happens. Well, here we are. We did make it work. I just had to move this ring a little bit. And it worked out just fine. So, yeah. We 
Turn the thread that way. Let's see. Whoop. Or. Whoop. Haha. <laughs> this is a little tougher than I thought with this thing. There we go. Yeah. Can't do it with the phone. But. Quick transition. Easy to acquire. And yeah. I think it's gonna work. I'm gonna just have to go out there and try to shoot it now. I think next week or a couple of weeks from now. Especially since I messed with the scope. I wanna make sure it's still on. Should be pretty close. And then I wanna put a few rounds through it with the tyrant sights. So, heck yeah. I'm happy. I don't know why I didn't think about that at first. My brain was foggy or something. So, yeah, I'll put this baby away. And then, Sunday evening now, so it's time to go and get ready for the week. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Hit the subscribe button and uh, maybe see you in the next video.